Hey Clooney Garage fans, it's Fred here. Today we're going to be talking about how to get some camber and front-end geometry into your Commodore. Let's get there. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. Alright, welcome back to the channel. Much long awaited episode, I'm getting a heap of comments about our front end geometry and how we're getting so much camber into our Commodore and we have been on a big journey on this to get to the end point that we've gotten here. It has not been easy. These VEs particularly are not, um, not amenable to getting some front end geometry and turning, but we have done it. And you would have seen our latest track day at Sydney Motorsport Park. We were howling around turn one and turn two. Have a look at this. <laughs> So that's not for the faint-hearted, and you can only do that if you've got a bit of grip, and uh, an 80 true wear tyre always helps as well. But um, we're not all about the tyre here at the channel. But let's go back to the start, and where we started from with this VE SS Ute. It was a hail damage wreck that we picked up. It was going to go, you know, probably an insurance write-off. We've picked it, we've salvaged it. We took it to the track with the original FE suspension in it, and uh, have a look at some of these corners. As you can see, that suspension was well past its prime, and that thing just did not want to turn. And we've also heard as well is that the front end geometry of these Commodores does not really lend itself to you know a whole lot of camber and adjustment as well, even when you put coilovers in. So our first step was exactly that. We wanted to put some uh, coilovers in. We chose some BC Racing um, with the external reservoir coilovers. That was you know what we could afford at the time, and they've been a fantastic um, suspension for us. And the thing that we've really struggled with is every time we go to get a professional wheel alignment we can't even get two degrees of negative camber in it so we've been to about three different shops and by the end of the day frankie and i were getting quite frustrated actually because you know we know in our other cars we can get negative three negative four in one of the biggest issues is our front coilovers did not have um, camber tops so we couldn't actually you know adjust the the tower geometry in at the top so that was a limitation i think bc do make a top camber mount adjustable um, but even then the VEs have got some some limitations so we reached out to some people at the track um, Tony Virag was you know talking to us about we've got a remount um, where control arms go and you know then we researched what the V8 super utes did and apparently they went to KMAC and that sort of pointed us in the direction around right we've got to talk to the experts and we've got to get some chassis alignment in this thing so I got on the phone to KMAC and they were super helpful and they, they knew exactly what our issue was. So the first thing they said we needed to do was to buy a camber caster adjustment kit, which we're about to show you. And also, the piece de resistance is a lower control arm bushing. And that's got an elliptical sort of uh, piece in it that allows you then to get more um, camber adjustment too. So we've done both of those things. So the guys at KMAC were really, really helpful. They ship these products all around Australia and to the world. And apparently, and you can correct me in the comments if I get this wrong, but this is what I've been told by the team, is that they supplied the V8 Ute Racing Series with these same suspension components. So, anyway, we were really, really happy, put them in, got the car professionally wheel aligned, and what do you know, we've got some serious camber and caster in the thing. So, much more than we'd ever be able to get before. So, I guess you're waiting to have a look at the results. In the meantime, Let's look at some more track action, and then we'll show you how they look.
right, so the Ute is back from its adventures in City Motorsport Parking. You probably had some good footage there. But um, this is the ingredient here. This little camber top. So that goes on the, um, the top part of the, the, the strut. I'm just trying to show you all the componentry here as you can see. And then underneath. And that allows us to get our camber. And then obviously, as I've been talking about, there's a lower control arm bush in there, which obviously might be a bit hard with shadows and light. And we also got that other control arm bush redone as well. Uh, but that's not the one that comes in the kit. It's this other one through here. So all been redone by our friends at Gentech. And we also got all our other bushes and stuff redone at the same time too. So you're probably saying, Fred, this looks a bit more cambery and you've got some more cornering power. What are the results? Well, here's the report. So you can actually see where we landed here. Front camber. We ended up with minus four, minus 3.9. And in the back, we ended up getting minus two, but obviously that was just through some adjustment. Um, but yeah, you can get negative four degrees with this kit. And we were getting negative one point sort of eight, one point nine before. So this kit, it works. All right, now we've got some front end geometry in the car. The car actually turns in, but mid corner rotation has also been helped. We've gone two degrees of toe out as well. So this combination of um, camera and toe has really made this huge, which was really hard to get around corners before. You'd, you'd get into a corner, you'd understeer. I'm just sharing some footage now as our time at Wodonga. The tyres are almost standing straight up. You go into a corner and you're, you're off the grip. So. Really hard to control. Uh, really hard to stay into a corner and get corner speed. Um, with this new setup, it's totally different. You can actually lean on it in a corner and have confidence. And I didn't feel the Ute understeer once at Sydney Motorsport Park. Oversteer, it definitely did. Understeer, it did not. So we've cured that. Um, but obviously now we've got a bit of mid-corner rotation and she gets a little bit tail happy now. So we're going to be looking at other things around sway bars and other adjustments to try and um, keep the beast in the straight line. Hope this helps. We've tried to research all we can around camber adjustment in VE Commodores. It's not an easy task. Hopefully this has been helpful. These KMAC kits are worth it. We're going to buy another one if we have another VE. Don't do it for Dale, do it for Yoda. Catch you later.